Black locust, Robinia pseudo-acacia, is a clonal tree species that is sometimes a pest in prairies and savannas. Like other clonal species, it's capable of covering ground rapidly and shading out desirable species in high quality prairies. Yeah. No one wants to cut and handle these stems because of the sharp thorns which can penetrate skin and clothes. That's why I'm wearing these sturdy leather gloves today to protect me. The safest, most efficient and effective control technique that I know of for this species is a basobaric application of an oil-based herbicide. Today I'm going to be using triclofer Garlon 4 in an oil mixture applied to the base of the stem. Uh, this technique allows me to minimize the amount of times this stem is handled. I don't have to cut it, I don't have to haul it, stack it, or run it through a wood chipper. I'm going to be using this backpack herbicide applicator. This has a cone tip which allows me to apply a thin dribble of herbicide to the stem. Today I'm using a 12.5% active ingredient concentration of the oil-based herbicide triclofer to make my basal bark application. It's called basal bark application because you apply a small amount of herbicide on the bark of the tree near its base. I apply a thin trickle of herbicide starting about a foot above the ground level, letting the herbicide run down and around the stem so that it covers all the surface. I want to take care to apply just enough pressure to get the herbicide to run out, but not enough so that it hits the ground. The idea of this application method is that it is targeted. You're applying it just to the tree species you're interested in controlling, and you're not getting any on the ground, or you're minimizing the amount. So that's basically all there is to it. We're working with a standing live stem, applying an oil-based herbicide that is absorbed through the bark into the stem's circulatory system, then it moves throughout the stem, and in six weeks, uh, by the first frost here in Wisconsin, the stem will be dead. As with all clonal species, you need to control all of the stems in the clone to eliminate the clone. Here's another stem, we'll just do this again. And you notice that just one person is doing this application. Uh, it's a really efficient and effective use of your staff time. Uh, once an applicator gets practiced, they can uh, apply or decide in this method to maybe 100 to 200 stems in an hour. An hour is about all we're going to want to work with this uh, kind of technique, but uh, still, that's a, that's a good output. In summary, when applying herbicides, always wear protective gear. In the video, we treated an approximately one inch diameter stem, which called for a 12.5% active ingredient of triclofor mixed in an oil solution. We also used a cone tip to avoid overspray. And we applied the herbicide to the stem about one foot above the ground, allowing the solution to run down all sides of the stem. This minimizes herbicide reaching the ground. In summary, the basal bark application technique has several advantages. One, it's a labor saver because you can treat the standing live stem and avoid the labor costs of cutting, stacking, and hauling brush. Thus, it's an efficient use of employee time. Also, because the technique targets individual stems, it reduces impact to non-target species and minimizes impacts on soil and water. On top of all this, it's a very effective technique on clonal species.